I'm Dr. Jennifer Summer and I'm the director of the North Carolina Summer Program for Kids. We created the program because we found that our children had a lot of wonderful supports during the school year, but fewer in the summer months. And it's very typical for children to lose ground during the summer, but for our kids with ADHD, it's a particularly difficult time. So we wanted to make sure that we could bridge the gap between the years to set them up for the most success in the fall. And there are no programs like this anywhere in North Carolina or the neighboring states, so we really wanted to bring it local. One thing that has really stood out to me in talking to families is that a lot of programs like ours in other places in the country have unfortunately had to close their doors, resulting in families being willing to relocate from other states to come to North Carolina to receive these services. My hope is that with donations, we can sustain our program as we have for the past three years. So my name is Emily Grubbs. My name's Aaron Neal. My name's Kelsey Sidney. My name is Jess Eskimel. I am in my second year at um, UNCG for a master's in school counseling. I am a second year graduate student at Teachers College Columbia University in the city of New York where I study neuroscience and education currently. I am an elementary education major. I just graduated from UNCG. I am a student at UNCG graduating in December. Um, my degree is in English and Business. I am a returning camp counselor for NCSBK this year. Um, I came back because it's very structured and it's not anything like I've ever worked with before. After seeing how big of an impact I had on students last year, I realized that I had to come back and make that same impact with students again for a second year. So we teach the kids social skills every day and it ranges from things such as how to deal with your anger to ignoring friends that are teasing you. So we have a different social skill every morning um, that somehow ties into what we're doing that day. Some of them have been as simple as greetings of just saying good morning and the person's name um, or as in intense as inclusion of people who are different than you. It's really important for the kids to know that it's okay to not like everyone but you have to treat everyone with respect. Um, and I think that's one of the main things that all of our social skills focus on. I think just the nature of the program, having children with the same um, disabilities, all the kids here have ADHD, and so for a lot of these kids it's the first time being with people that are similar to them, and they're able to understand each other better and talk to each other on the same level. They're no longer feel like outcasts or like they're different from everyone else and it's just a great environment to foster those relationships. Uh, well, my name is Adam Barrett. I've been with Noble Academy for 10 years now, and uh, this will be my third year with the program at SPK. Um, I teach math normally through the school year, and um, I've been teaching math for two years now in the SPK program, and done the counselor position one year, and now I'm helping to direct the program. NCSBK has highly specialized and caring staff and counselors, very talented teachers, and um, a great atmosphere for uh, kids to grow over the summer. If we were able to receive community donations, we'd really be able to expand our program. I think it would be great if we could have more scholarship funds to just have the camp accessible to everyone that wants to be here. So if we could have more funds just to get every kid here that wants to be here, it would be great. Every donation we receive is an investment in children's social, educational, and personal growth. Um, my favorite part of camp is the pool. Um, my favorite part of camp was um, that we get a choice of popsicles or something else. My teacher taught me about the clock because I didn't know about time. I like this camp especially because I am still learning new things.